<laughs> so, but you can feel it under the lines, between the lines. So. Do you expect that you will be a candidate for chancellor? No, I'm not a candidate for chancellor. What, 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 what are your plans politically in the future? Yeah, that, uh, and first of all, <laughs> I'm the mayor of Berlin and, and I have to do my job and uh, the rest we will see. And uh, what is in, in some years, we, we had in, for my party we had a disaster at the last elections with 23% and therefore uh, we have not to look for candidates, we have to look how uh, is it possible to reform uh, our policy to have more acceptance by the people. And candidate questions are coming in some years. Yeah, but you're already on the table, your name is already on the table. Yeah, my, my name is uh, on the table, but I'm, I'm not the man who put it on the table. Only the journalist. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my idea. <laughs> I have a question re regarding Berlin. You briefly um, uh, passed the question of homo, uh, homophobia in Berlin, which uh, I know by own experience from of, of some of my friends is a real problem. Uh, do you think that that could develop to a real threat for the city? That could become a real threat? Homophobia? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, you have to work against it. So, and, and that is a question, it's not, not, not a real danger today, I think, but we must be careful about it. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you have uh, tendencies by young people mm -hmm. uh, with more homophobia. You have a lot of attacks, uh, especially from an, uh, the, uh, in the migration mm -hmm. uh, community or so. Mm -hmm. and, um, that is not, not so dangerous, I think, that it is uh, in the daily policy uh, one of the main problems, but uh, you mm -hmm. have to protect um, it um, now and, and not if it is too late. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, it could become political when things develop a little bit like in Amsterdam where the, um, the main gay community starts to rethink if they really should consider Amsterdam as the gay city of Europe. So uh, that could, could be a problem politically and also um, in question of tourism, of course. Yeah, if you have not an atmosphere where uh, a gay couple can walk hand in hand through the city, right. then it is uh, dangerous for the tourism. Uh, 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 situation and and for 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 but for for the whole life in in the city, and I think the goal for metropolises in the future is to create an open society for every big city in in the world. Otherwise, you have not the 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 chance to um, bring a creative people to the cities and to have an atmosphere for for the development. And, and of cities, so therefore it's not a question of uh, rights for minorities. I think that is an elementary uh, question for the majority, uh, mm -hmm. for themselves. Mm -hmm. That is not only a question uh, that it is good for minorities, what we are discussing it. I think it's more mm -hmm. important for the whole society, what is the situation and is it a climate um, of, of uh, tolerance and acceptance. Mm -hmm. Do you think the growing Muslim population in Germany and throughout Western Europe is a threat to gay rights? That is a very difficult question and therefore I don't want to answer it in a direct way. Um, I think um, equal, if it is in, 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 in Asia, is it in Europe or wherever, we have to work for an education, an education in families, in cultures, in, in religions, that discrimination can't be uh, a part of uh, religion or behavior or others. So that is uh, for, for every part in the world it's important 
to, to learn that it is no right for any religion <coughs> to say a special lifestyle is not uh, allowed or you have to fight against a special lifestyle or against another religion or so. And that is the main thing. And that is the same in Germany, that is the same in America, that is the same in Turkey or wherever. What, ex what exactly are you going to, um, to do against it in, in Berlin? There is this coalition against homophobia. Is that the only thing? I wouldn't say the only thing, but is it that what you're concentrating on? And how is it, how is it financially funded? Yeah, we have uh, our gay and lesbians organizations and they make initiatives for mm -hmm. campaigning mm -hmm. against homophobia, mm -hmm. for example, with uh, um, the support by famous sportsmen mm -hmm. uh, or from, from the cultural sector artists and, and actors mm -hmm. or so. They show their face uh, for this campaign um, that is one. Then to teach the teachers how they have to react in the normal lesson against homophobia because at the age of 10 to 14, 15 uh, years uh, there is uh, very popular for, for young people to discriminate uh, other um, uh, students um, with the title you are gay or lesbian and they don't know what they are saying but that can be a problem and to teach the teachers um, how they can react in such situations and what they have to do. And um, the other thing is um, yeah, that we have a spirit in the city for against discrimination. That is that it's the same on the against an, a Nazi, neo Nazi propaganda. Mm -hmm. um, so, discrimination is not only against uh, gay and lesbian people, you have it against other minorities and therefore it's uh, for, for the whole city right. beauty. So again, is there any money for it? Yeah, we have um, special projects and initiatives, so they are financed by the Senate of Berlin mm -hmm. and <coughs> we have uh, some uh, foundations mm -hmm. for that. And just now, um, for the next two years, uh, the uh, members of parliament, uh, they collect money from other titles in the budget to support projects. That's about two, two million uh, euros, I think. Mm -hmm. When the Americans think of Germany, they think of Berlin and they think of Munich. And both are very different, different politically. The Munich is like the capital of Bavaria, very conservative state, and Berlin is like more the, the fun town um, in some ways. Um, is the situation for gay people that different between Munich and Berlin? Hmm. Um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, if the foreigners look to Munich, they look more in a folkloristic uh, way to Munich because it is Oktoberfest, that is uh, beer and uh, Volksfest and so on. And if you are looking to Berlin, I think <coughs> that is more for modern uh, part, more for creative uh, scene and for the club scene, for, for the museums and uh, the theaters and, and for lively atmosphere and the development of his city with a special historic situation and what happened in the last 20 years after the fall of the war. Um, I think that's quite different and that is not uh, the situation that you can't live in, in Munich um, as a gay or lesbian people. So it's not unsafe or something? No. You should mention that Munich has a social democrat as mayor yeah. for decades, so... Uh, Mr. Ude. What do, you th what do you think is the biggest selling points for, tour for gay tourists to visit Berlin? Selling point? Uh, the, best, the best reasons for gay, what would you say to, to gay tourists thinking about visiting somewhere that in Europe? Depends, and that depends to the <coughs> people. Um, not all gays and all lesbians are, uh, uh, have the same interest um, how to perform their, their holidays. So uh, if one is only interested in, in uh, the gay life, uh, okay, then he, he 
he or she will find all what they want. Um, clubs, bars, and other uh, special